So after using a couple of 0W 16 grade engine oils, I have shifted to 0W 20 grade engine oils for now. And as per my previous experiences and lab test result observations, we cannot generalize all 0W 16 grade or 0W 20 grade engine oils as the same. Hence, this video will be on the total quartz 9000 future GF6 0W 20 grade engine oil. Now I have used the 0W16 grade engine oil from the same brand, in fact from the same Total Quartz 9000 Future family, so I can share my personal experience of shifting from 0W16 grade to 0W20 grade engine oil where I have used each of them for 5000 plus kilometers. Now I have made a bunch of positive observations with this switch to 0W20 grade engine oils with a couple of not so positive ones which I will try to share in this video. To begin with, the morning start experience has been fine. In fact, I noticed the engine got into its element quicker and stayed there with no sign of overheating or the temperature needle shooting past the mid-level. I won't wait to get till the end of this video or to come up with an verdict. So if I had to pick up an engine oil for the highway run in the K15C engine from the Suzuki, I will get the 0W20 grade which gave me a much smoother and silent run especially when you push the engine to higher RPMs in comparison to the 0W16 grade engine oil. This actually makes me draw your attention to the International Lubricant Standardization and Approval Committee standards where both the total 9000 future 0W16 and 0W20 are API SP oils that meets the GF6 standards. If we dig deep, the 0W16 oil meets with the GF6B which is for low viscosity engine oils like the 0W16 grade, while the 0W20 is GF6A which is for high viscosity engine oils like 0W20, 5W30 and higher grades from there. The GF6A oils are also said to have better HTHS value and possibly better tribological protection unless your engine is designed to run on a 0W16 engine oil. Of course, while we discuss all of this, we also see the obvious jump in the kinematic viscosity in totals 0W16 to 0W20 grade, where the kinematic viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius has jumped from 36.4 mm2 per second to 45.14 mm2 per second, while at 100 degrees Celsius, the kinematic viscosity is 7.1 mm2 per second for the 0W16 grade, and it goes up to 8.5 mm2 per second for the 0W20 grade. Rest of the physical properties like the flash point at 244 degrees Celsius and pore point of minus 42 degrees Celsius are in check for both 0W16 and 0W20 grade oils. And when it comes to driving with these oils, I personally found pushing the engine much more fun with the 0W20 grade than with the 0W16 grade. This has been confirmed by a few comments and messages from you guys where a few of you have noticed this improvement more so ever with a 3 cylinder engine. So in the beginning I noticed some drop in the fuel efficiency and I blamed it on my right foot. So for the subsequent tank fulls, I drive normally and the fuel efficiency improved but it didn't match the 0W16 levels. Back then the car had done 10,000 plus kilometers and was nearing the 15,000 kilometers mark. So I proceeded with a new air filter and also cleaned up the throttle body and things improved and I barely managed to touch the 18 km per liter mark. I would have stayed to my drop in fuel efficiency statement if I hadn't experienced other 0W20 grade engine oils, but I guess that will be a different video. For the city drives and heavy city commutes where the engine remained fuss free and the start stop system worked as usual. With the engine temperatures in check, apart from the expected drop in fuel efficiency in the traffic runs, I should highlight the point that never in the heavy traffic drives, even in peak summers, I faced any sort of roughness from the engine. The engine oil level also remained in check for the 5000 plus kilometers of use with no calls for top up. Total also mentions low phosphorus content used in this formulation that prevents deposition and corrosion in the modern day emission control system. I didn't find the ash sulfate percentage but I guess total must have controlled that as well. The concern that a lot of you might have is with the wear and tear in the 0W16 versus 0W20 grade engine oil and I do have plans to compare that very soon in a lab test video. So do share your interest in the comment section. I guess that brings us to the end of this video and I hope you guys have liked it. 